Hey guys, Michelle Edhouse here from Mickey R and today I'm going big. Now there was a challenge put out there, the acrylic pouring bucket challenge. And I was like, yeah, bring it on. I'm choosing that. So I've got this piece of old MDF that I scored from a demolition site. Um, it's got some drill holes where it was drilled onto the wall. And on the back it's got some yucky bits, but what, for what I'm creating it for, which hopefully it works, um, it doesn't matter how um, how yucky it is on the back, because it's going to be a sign. That's if the cells are big enough to be used for that. So I'm just going to go through and fill up those holes with some permafill. It's a ready mixed filler from Sally's and uh, let that dry and then once it's dry I'll sand them out and we'll get pouring. And today I am doing the biggest pour of my history of pouring in my world. Um, as you can see I'm putting a lot of oil in these and that's because there's a lot of paint. Uh, this is not a close-up. <laughs> this is a two litre jug and this is a 180 centimeter by 120 centimeter sheet which is a lot my husband might do the math for me um so what we are doing today is the, as i said the biggest pour i've ever done and uh it's going to be a flip cup can you tell <laughs> No, I can't either. All right, so basically, as I as I'm talking, I am, and my beautiful husband is as well, um, mixing in the silicon into the paint so that it can make the cells. That's the that's the big part, and all of these paints here. The colours, which you can see all now. We've got uh, red matter, uh, we've got copper, cobalt blue, deep yellow, viridian hue, phthalo blue, and this is made from uh, light paint. green <laughs> paint yeah light green and cobalt blue so it's 75 mils of light green mixed with 200 mils of cobalt blue and then some white added um it's quite a cool color i like it reminds me of my mother's old kitchen <laughs> speaking of my mother i have a studio audience today my mum is visiting from Cambridge and no she lives in Hamilton now <laughs> um, and is visiting for the weekend so how did we get so lucky we get a studio audience and um, I also have Mars Black and my Bunnings Spring White uh, house paint so we're gonna make the flip cup first then we're gonna Whatever doesn't fit in there, we're going to make a puddle and then do the flip cup onto the puddle. Does that sound like fun? My husband is here to help me move it around. Have you worked out how many inches that is yet? Um, no. No? Inches. <laughs> no one uses inches anymore. Except artists when it comes to their canvases, darling. Well, that's, that's, that's you. Alright, so let's start with some white. Inches. Inches terrible things they are and they low blue crimson red viridian hue let's go with copper I have a lot of paint here guys I spent a lot of time last night mixing a lot. Is 
it's pretty precise pouring you're doing there. It is. Do you like it? It's, you know, supposed to give them a sense of that they could do it too, because I'm not very organised. Alright, it's our phthalo blue gone. Let's go in a different order. No, we're not, because I can't be bothered thinking of a different order. There's our <laughs> crimson red. And our viridian hue. Unless you guys get to see the pot, it's big enough to be able to be seen. <laughs> Whoops, missed. <laughs> You don't have to be tidy to do this. In fact, if you're trying to be a clean freak, you're doing it wrong. That's my point of view anyway. I worked out, um, this will give you a hint in inches. It's um, 3,300 square inches. So work that backwards find out the dimensions in inches. Um, a bit more white in. Just for the fun of it. Check out that. Can you see mum? <laughs> it's so fun. Alright, so that is exactly two litres of paint. I actually need 3.3 .3 litres of paint. That's how I know that um, it's 3300 square inches because um, it's one mil per square inch how's it getting easier than that so I'm gonna move this over here what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put the cardboard on top just like that and that'll help me flip it because I'm not gonna be able to flip it without pouring it everywhere um, and so, Glenn, could you, um, we're going to switch to this camera now, <laughs> um, we're just going to pour some white all around. Do this side? Yes, please. And then I have my spatula and I'm just gonna I could have bought the flower with me. You could have done. Oh concrete flower would have been great for this job. Dow. <laughs> Why do I always call you Dow when we're doing these things? Yep. I'll be done by the time you get back. Oh, I know. So I'm just, for those of you that are new to this, I'm just spreading this white around to give it a bit of a, a base to flow on. Um, and you're going to get rid of the, the bubbles, Dale. Am I? Oh, yeah. Well, you're playing with the torch. Oh, cool. Yeah? Sure.
this. We got a one tongue chance at this. I know there's there's at least fifty dollars worth of paint on here. So uh, do you need a board? No, oh, that's not gonna work. What? It's it's just so that it doesn't all fly over That'll here work. as I flip. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Do you want me to do it? Are or? you worried no. about my camera, Mum? <laughs> you should be. Yeah, you, you should be. That's your job, Mum. It's that's some other's job is to worry. I'm All right. I remind you, you said that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Uh, Mostly successful. What? Whoop! <laughs> hey, look at that. That's pretty funky. That is funky. Alright. Okay. <laughs> we might see if we can raise the Roof. camera a bit because they're only seeing. Yeah. Where we can stand on it. Yep. Um, but don't bend it over, it'll dry nice. Get done. Well, good thing we've got two cameras because that was really going to cause a heat apple too. Uh huh. Now we've swapped sides. I'll be here too. Uh -huh. Alright. Well, bowl looks pretty. I'm hoping you can see. We're guessing. So, what are we going to do? You okay, want... so first of all, we're going to torch it a little bit, bring any cells to the top so that we get. I want to get big cells. I'm going to pop all these bubbles as well. I'd like as big a cells as possible and um, when you get the cells out before you torch, uh, before you spread it out, the cells stretch as you spread. So we do have some air bubbles in there that aren't popping but Grab a screed off the truck too. <laughs> it's not a swipe, we don't need a screed. I love that bit there though. That's beautiful. Okay, so firstly I want to tip it that way. Um, and then we just leave that end on the table. Then. Yeah. idea what you can see so apologies if we're out of shot I can't get the camera any higher I'm gonna tip to you so I just want you to make sure that it doesn't slide off okay and now we'll tip back this way It's huge! <laughs> so the reason we put the white paint around the outside was so that um, the colour had something to run on and it wasn't rolling over itself covering up the blank. Oh that's yeah. looking cool. Yep, to me. is a virtue, not one I have much of. Now it's 
all running this way around just spreading. Yeah, unfortunately, that's what it does. But if we go back towards you again, we'll push it back in a minute. I actually want to come towards this corner over here. Yeah. There it comes. This is heavy. <laughs> Not really surprising. Lose the white. Yeah. Take over that way. Um, just when you put it down, it's on top of the green pot. Right. It's alright, Mum. We'll do it. It's just got to be put down on that, back onto the angle it was on. There you go, it's back a bit. Now. Okay. More flame? More flame. This is all copper through here. It's so pretty. Air bubbles popping. It's really important to get the air bubbles out. Otherwise, when they dry, you end up with holes in the paint. Are you painting your leg, darling? Yep. This is why I have set painting clothes. I forgot to put my painting legs on. What do you reckon? <laughs> um, just just give it one more tilt towards that corner. I really like it to rectangular out a bit more if we can. Yep, I might need to go over there and grab it. I might need to go behind that way. So it can actually stop it from actually going there. I can't actually see what's going on now. Yeah, no, I'll just I'll let you know. Pretty good. We should do another one just like it. Yeah, I need a matching one for the other side of the sign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
anybody that knows anything about acrylic pouring is that you can never replicate anything. I had somebody say to me one day when they found out I had a YouTube channel, aren't you worried that people will um, steal your designs? I <laughs> mean, good luck to them trying. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. Ooh, guess that too. Guess what? Oh. Guess it. Guess cardboard. The pretty, pretty cardboard. I'll get the camera down and give you a close-up. A close-up. So let's start with the cardboard. This is cool. Here we go. Cardboard is pretty and stripy. No. These are the bits that we dripped. When you're choosing your colours to do acrylic pouring, you really do need to choose a combination of light and um, Light and dark, so you've got contrast. I really like this piece here. It's cool. Now, some of you may not be aware that there is actually a challenge out there. It's been put out by Saskia. Um, and I will link to her in my comments, description-y thing. And she put the challenge out to do a bucket challenge. You know, you've all heard of the ice bucket challenge. This is the acrylic pouring bucket challenge. So if you give it a go, if you decide that you're going to do a huge masterpiece, then um, make sure you put hashtag acrylic pouring bucket challenge so we can all find it. And if you're looking for other people that have done it, Go to Google and type in hashtag acrylic pouring bucket challenge and see what shows up. Saskia definitely shows up. And uh, there's a few others that have attempted this. Some really beautiful cell patches like this one here. I really like, like those coming over here. But you've got, see that bit that looks bright fire orange? That's copper. Um, and then there's a very cool patch down here too with purples and blues and um, turquoisey aqua -y <coughs> colour there's some cool stuff going on in this and it's quite varied definitely takes you out of control when you're dealing with such a huge area it's pretty full on when you look at it as a whole piece and I'm very interested to see how this dries. I'm guessing it might take a few days actually because it's very cold here in Rotorua. It's wet, it's winter. But hey, what else is possible? So I will see you at your time in about three, two, one. All right. Well, it took about 10 days of sitting in my garage with no heaters on, middle of winter, for this thing to dry. <laughs> there are a couple of slight smudge marks where I thought it was dry, I touched it and it didn't. But uh, super happy with it. It's very cool. Um, I reckon that part, photographed, made into a sign. Um, there's so much cool stuff in it. I'm not so sure it's going to be suitable as a sign in itself though. That's cool. So let's have a look. Let's see how uh, 
effective it would be if it was um, at a distance, hanging outside my house, telling people about my gallery. Ooh, kind of making, starting to look like just a smeary mess to be honest. And we're only what, uh, maybe 10 meters away. Bum 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 So by the time you're in a car, it's a 70 kilometers an hour road where I live and even that full sign it disappears guys it totally disappears and plus the bylaw says that signs can only be half a meter square so that's like 900 by 600 uh, not very big this would have to be cut into two so I think what I'm going to do is take some cool photos of it and get them onto a um, get this to print to print me some banners or something and stick those up instead but it's definitely been a fun fun challenge the bucket challenge thank you Gina um, Gina DeLuca put the challenge out there to do the bucket bucket challenge and uh, yeah, it was fun super fun super grateful and how much fun can you have creating your magic pieces and what else is possible beyond what you thought was possible i adore you and i will see you again in the next video thanks so much for watching and au revoir